Blockchain provides a means to store information chronologically and redundantly on a decentralized database. New transactions are linked to previous transactions by cryptography which makes blockchain networks resilient and secure. Therefore blockchain size enlarges due to record all transactions that happen on the network. When a node joins, it is required to verify all the transactions that have happened on the network. It means the entire blockchain history. Correspondingly Bitcoin reaches 300 gigabyte blockchain capacity. While Ethereum has more than 1000 gigabytes. This means that they has required greater computing power and energy as the blockchain grows. And take up a lot of bandwidth, making them harder to access for regular users. There is a necessity to revolutionize the blockchain industry with groundbreaking technology that provides cheaper transactions at lightning speeds. Today we will investigate a protocol which aims to achieve this goal. MENA Protocol. I'm Tony from KK Technologies. To understand the MENA protocol well, let's discover the lightest blockchain in the world together. Unlike cryptocurrency platforms such Bitcoin, MENA's size is only 22 kilobyte. Regardless of how many transactions are committed to the network, this size should allow anyone to operate a node and help secure its network without giant computer hardware. Let's have a look at how MENA works. MENA's developers used a cryptography technique called Zero Knowledge Succinct Non-Interactive Arguments of Knowledge. In a word, ZK Snarks. This technique provides trust when interacting in a blockchain and considerably speeds up the verification of a transaction. Also hiding transaction details from prying eyes at the same time. When you purchase a good via Bitcoin, actually Bitcoin never virtually transfers, but the seller becomes the owner of the Bitcoin. The Bitcoin remains in the network, but your data passes into a block when you start the transaction. That block has to wait on the line for verification by miners, then the miners' computers start verifying. The computers are made to work out incredibly difficult sums. If more miners are involved, the chances that somebody will solve the right hash quicker increases. Thus a war of computer power started between miners. Now imagine if thousands, or even millions more times, that mining power joins the network. That's a lot of new machines consuming energy. In ZK Snark, miners save their time and efforts because they just need to verify one thing, which is ZK Snark. So ZK Snark is the proof that is generated whenever a new block is produced by replacing the latest one. Imagine a blockchain which generates three blocks via ZK Snark. ZK Snark X generated with size 22 kilobyte, then for the second block ZK Snark Y generate of size 22 kilobyte, and ZK Snark X plus ZK Snark Y combine to generate a single Snark which is 22 kilobyte. After third block producing ZK Snark Z of 22 kilobyte, it combines with the existing ZK Snark of size 22 kilobyte to again create a single ZK Snark of size 22 kilobyte. So, miners don't need to verify block XYZ, but only need to verify the final ZK snark. Thus they save time and energy. One end brief, combined with a proof-of-stake consensus mechanism, MENA claims their implementation of ZK snark significantly cuts down on the resources needed to process and record transactions. The MENA protocol enables vastly higher throughput in the network and enables a blockchain that is decentralized at scale. Additionally, MENA protocol requires two specialized nodes within the network to run effectively. Block producers. By staking MENA, they can be selected to produce a block and earn block rewards. In that way, they are like the miners or validators of other blockchains. Snark producers. The second type of consensus node operator on MENA, snark producers help compress data in the network by generating snark proofs of transactions. Block producers can then bid on these proofs, for which snark workers are paid in MENA. What is MENA coin? Native to the MENA blockchain, MENA coins are needed to secure the network via staking by proof of stake, POSE. To sum up, that small blockchain has made MENA protocol an altcoin in high demand. MENA is light, so anyone can connect peer to peer and quickly sync and verify the chain. Cryptocurrencies are highly volatile, so your cash can go down as well as up in the blink of an eye. As always, you should never invest in something you don't understand. What are your thoughts about MENA? Would you use or invest in it? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please tab the subscribe button.